Hey there, you worthless piece of trash. I have some amazing news to share with you that will surely make you burn with envy. I just got a call from the bank and it looks like I'm going to get that job after all. I can almost feel your jealousy radiating from your phone. <laughs> are you? Well, you don't have to say, but I know that you are. You don't even have to admit it to me. <laughs> I mean, you barely even scraped by high school. So what are you doing with your life that you have to be proud of anyways? <laughs> oh, you're such a joke. So you are going to go and work for the bank after all. I suppose it's a good thing that you enjoy being a puppet for mom and dad. You always do whatever they tell you to do, don't you? You never have a mind of your own. Shut up. I'm not only applying there because they wanted me to work there. I'm applying there because that's where I want to work too. What do you even know about having a real career, huh? You only have a high school diploma and you can never in a million years do the kinds of things that I've done or will do. You're so pathetic and ignorant. Wow, Dakota. You are really obsessed with my high school diploma, huh? You must think about that more than even I do. Is that your only measure of success? How sad. Well, of course I do. You're like a stain on the wall that I can always look at to see how much I've grown. I mean, you're consistent in the way that you never even try to achieve anything with your life. You're just a waste of space. Why are you being like this to me, Dakota? I mean, we're sisters, and I don't like being treated this way by you. Do you really think this is a good way to talk to others? Don't you know that one day all of this looking down on other people is going to come back to haunt you? Look down on others? Don't worry. I don't do it to everyone. Only the people that really deserve it like you are. See, you are special in your own way after all. And I'm not the only one that looks down on you like this. Mom and dad feel the exact same way. So who am I to go against what they've decided about you? I don't even know why I bothered responding to your text. I knew that you were going to act like this towards me. Well, I am done with this. I don't see any point in continuing this conversation. Oh, I see. Well, in that case, I guess I'll just throw away all of your belongings then. What on earth are you talking about this time, Dakota? Well, I just mean that you're the only one in the family who is never, ever going to work in a bank. All you do is mope around the house all day long, doing nothing. You're such a loser, Libby. Okay, I think we both know that is not true. I do very little moping, thank you very much. I have a job that I enjoy. I work hard and I contribute a lot to our expenses. In fact, I'm even paying for part of your tuition with the money I give to mom and dad. I know all about how you pay that. After all, we're all elite bankers, so why wouldn't you pay for someone as great as me to go to college when the same thing would just be wasted on you? And that point of mine is just proved by the fact that I got this job at the bank, so there. In fact, now that I have this job, it really does just make me realize how useless you are. That's why I'm going to make you move out of the house. You're just not wanted around here anymore at all. Of course, I've wanted to do this for a long, long time. But it wasn't until now that I was sure it could work. Are you serious? You're really going to try and throw me out of the house? You can't do that, Dakota. You have no right to do that. You're being so cruel and unreasonable. Well, I'm already tossing out all of your stuff. If you want to salvage any of it, you had better hurry back home and get it all right now. Because once it's gone, it's gone for good. And I won't shed a single tear for it. Well, well, this all got out of hand really fast. But Dakota, I'm just wondering if you have any idea how much money I've invested in the house. I mean, way more than our older brother. Out of all the siblings, I've contributed the most to making sure that mom and dad still have a decent place to live. In fact, I don't know if our brother has ever spent a dime of his own money to do anything for mom or dad or any of us. And so what? Do you want a trophy or something? You've been living with mom and dad, so of course you're going to put money into the house. But look at it this way. You won't have to do that anymore. It's perfect, really. I'm going to sever you from our family and you won't have to worry about us again. You really mean it? You just want me to vanish into thin air just like that? Of course, now that I have this job, mom and dad won't be needing your money anymore. So you can just pack up your things, leave, and then never ever come back. I don't even want to have to remember you ever again. I want it to be like you never existed in the first place. I mean, at this point, it really would just be better for everyone if you did that. Don't you know that you're nothing but a drag to everyone around you? You know, I really didn't think that you would actually ever try to take things this far. But despite all your insults, I've still stayed around to help out the family, including you. But I guess you're not grateful for any of that. So fine. If that's what you really want, then I'll just go. 
And I guess this also means that I can stop giving the family money. Just imagine the amazing place I'll get to live with all those savings. That and all the things that I'll get to be able to do, but wasn't able to because of family obligations. I don't care what you do with your life or where you go. You're nothing but a loser and you are never worthy to be one of us. You've never achieved anything at all. You don't have a boyfriend. You don't have anything going for you. Even after you moved out, you're still going to be lonely for the rest of your life. Nothing you say is ever going to persuade me that you're worth keeping around. Well, okay, then you say all that now. But I think in a little while, you're going to regret all of this, but that's fine with me. If anything, it feels like a huge burden has just been lifted off of my shoulders. So just make sure that you stick to your word and never, ever contact me again, okay? And don't come begging me for help either. I have no intention of ever helping my family after they have been so horrible to me this entire time. Got it? Ugh, Libby, how dare you show up here like this? What in the name of all that is sacred and holy do you think you're doing here, huh? I mean, seriously, have you completely gone insane or something like that? You've got some unbelievable nerve, even showing your face around here again after what you did. Well, this is quite a surprise, isn't it? Who would have ever guessed that I would have run into my snooty and arrogant banking family at this wedding of all the places in the world? Wow, sometimes the world really is a tiny and ironic place, isn't it? I mean, what can you possibly say in this awkward and tense situation? Except, wow. Don't you dare act like this is just some random and innocent coincidence that you don't know what's going to happen next. You deliberately crashed this wedding, didn't you? You must have somehow snooped around and found out that we were all going to be here. And that's why you decided to crash in here, right? To ruin everything for us? No, I really haven't given you or anyone else from the family any attention or thought in a long time. I honestly am just as shocked and surprised as you are to see you here. You're a liar, Libby. You were lying through your teeth, and I know it. You must have stalked us or hacked into the guest list for the wedding or something. How else would you have possibly known that we were here? Well, I just told you the truth that I actually had no idea that you were here at all. But if you really want to know how I ended up here at the wedding, first I got the invitation in the mail, then I confirmed my attendance at the wedding, and then finally I arrived here today. Oh, come on, you really expect me to believe that nonsense? You really think I'm going to buy that? You were actually invited here? There's no way that that could be true. There's no way that any wedding where we were invited would be a wedding where you would also be welcome. It just doesn't add up. Dakota, is this really how you want to greet your sister after? We haven't spoken in eight years. And now look at your messages. Of course not. I would rather not have this conversation at all. It makes me crazy, especially on this big day. I hoped that I was never, ever going to have to see your face ever again. Are you done with all that yelling you're doing? You're probably frightening some of the other wedding guests. Can you at least learn how to behave yourself and keep your mouth closed while you're angrily texting me? I mean, really, it's just a little rude to the bride and groom, don't you think? I am not going to have this conversation with you, Libby. I just want you to get out of here and never come back, okay? I'm sorry, but what makes you think that you have any authority to be able to boss me around like that, huh? I mean, do you really think that I'm just going to obey you and go home because you told me to? What is that supposed to mean, huh? Besides, you still haven't actually told me why you're here at my wedding. Because there is no way that you were actually invited here. And since I know that you don't belong here and weren't invited, you should just go now. Wow, you're still stupid like before. You really have no idea at all what you're talking about, do you? No, you're the one who doesn't know anything about anything. If you did, then you would know better than to show your face in a place like this. Well, okay, if you really want me to go, then I guess that I can. But the only problem is that I'm the CEO of the company where the groom works. So I just hope I don't hurt his feelings. Wait, what? That doesn't even make any sense. What do you mean that you're a CEO? Well, I was invited to the wedding by Clinton the groom, right? I know that it might be a bit hard for you to accept what you're about to hear, but I really don't care because I hate you. The truth of the matter is that Clinton invited me to his wedding so that I could give a speech to praise him. But that doesn't make any sense at all. I don't get how this is happening. I mean, how do you even know Clinton? I'm sorry, Dakota, but I literally just finished explaining everything to you. 
I don't really have time to just talk in circles with you, so I'm just gonna go home, like you said, okay? I hope you enjoy the rest of your wedding, though. Libby, are you here? Please, tell me that you're somewhere close by right now. You need to come back to the wedding right now. Oh my god, it's a disaster! Wait, what? But I don't understand at all. Just a short while ago, you were telling me about how I didn't fit in here and how I needed to get out, right? Besides, I thought you said that you never even wanted to have anything to do with me again. It's pretty odd that you're texting me, pleading to come back now. Oh, just be quiet about that. I don't care about what we've said in the past. This is about the present. Well, I'm sorry to say that I've already done as you asked, and I left to go back home. So what is it that you want from me? Well, when everyone found out that Clinton's boss, who was going to give a speech, had gone home, the whole wedding turned into a nightmare. And I think that if I were to try and sneak out of the wedding right now, that people might suspect that I was the one who told you to leave. So as you can see, I am in some deep trouble right now. That is why you have to come back here right now. I'm not kidding. Hmm, I see. Well, that is a very sticky situation to be in, but I think I'm going to decline. Thank you and bye. What do you mean by that? I mean that even if I did come back since people have already noticed, I don't think it would solve the problem how you think it would. Besides, I think that you need to face the consequences after the way that you treated me. I'm sure that it's just a matter of time before Clinton finds out the truth anyways. Besides, I already told my secretary that I left, so... You told your secretary? Then it really is true, isn't it? You really are the CEO of some company? Yep, that's what I've been trying to tell you this whole time. But you haven't been paying attention. After you threw me out of the house, I went out and started doing the things that I wanted to do, and that included going out and starting my own business as well. So I worked hard and started from scratch. I poured my heart and soul into my company. And luckily, I happened to have a lot of great people who were there to support me along the way. Oh, hold on a second. Clinton just announced that they were going to postpone the wedding in light of all that's going on. Oh, really? Wow. I can't believe that he actually would do something like that. Of course, most of the employees are quite familiar with my personal background and family issues. What on earth are you talking about, huh? Why would you tell all your employees about that? What kind of CEO would even do that? Well, when I was trying to recruit people to come and work for me, I had to give them a vision to follow, right? So I told them about how my family threw me out for not following their sense of elitism and that I went out to start my own business. I think a lot of people were really motivated by what I had to say and Clinton was one of those people. So I think that when he put it together that he invited members of my family to his wedding that I disappeared from. Well, I'm sure you can do the math or not. <laughs> but can't you comprehend the magnitude of the trouble that I'm going to face because of this? I mean, if anyone ever discovers that we share the same blood and that I was the one who drove you away, then that's going to be utterly disastrous for me. The wedding won't just be delayed. It'll be annulled. Yeah, it seems like that's a very likely outcome, actually. This isn't some kind of prank. This is grave. This is my entire existence, okay? What am I supposed to do in this dire situation? You have to do something about this. You have to clear my name, please. You're really coming to beg me for help right now? What is it that you even imagine I could do for you? Well, I mean, you could come back and tell everyone at the wedding that I had absolutely nothing to do with this at all. But that isn't true. You did have everything to do with this. I think you really want me to just bail you out of this mess without having to learn any kind of lesson or face any consequences. But the truth is that you tossed out the person who was going to give a speech to your fiance. But none of this even makes any sense to me. I mean, you only have a high school diploma. When I saw that you had infiltrated my wedding, I knew that it was because you were up to some mischief. That's why I had to boot you out the instant that I saw you. Dakota, for the final time, I was just as stunned to see you at this wedding as you were me. We haven't spoken in eight years, and I really thought that was just going to last forever. Why on earth do you think I would even want to infiltrate your wedding? What do you think I would benefit from that? Well, I mean, I just... I had no clue that you were actually a CEO. You should have informed me of that from the very beginning. What are you talking about? You were the one who for 10 years has been belittling me for my lack of education. You were the one who approached me all angry because you thought I wasn't invited and that I had infiltrated your wedding. Even if I told you everything, it's not like you would have paid any attention to me in the first place. 
Well, how was I supposed to know that you went and founded your own company when we haven't even communicated in years? I don't know what you expect me to say to that. You were the one that evicted me from the house. You were the one that said you never wanted to hear from me again. And it was you who told me to leave your wedding and never ever return. And now you want me to try and undo all the damage that you've been creating for yourself for almost a decade? Well, sorry, but you did this to yourself and it's not my responsibility to fix it for you. The reality is that you caused this and this is all your fault. If people get angry at you for this, then I say good for them. But I want you to know that I had no idea that you were Clinton's fiance at all. Of course, now that I do know that I just feel sorry for him, since it's obvious you haven't changed at all. You mean you really didn't know? This was all just a coincidence? How many times are you going to make me repeat the fact that I was? I really wish you would snap out of it and quit trying to think that you're some kind of flawless superhero or something. Honestly, I had no idea that you were getting married. And even if I did know, I wouldn't care. The only reason I was there was to support an employee of mine. And the only reason I left was because the impolite bride kicked me out. Please, I'm sorry for everything. You're right, I've been a jerk and you haven't deserved any of this. But I really need your help right now. You have to come back here immediately. I'm pleading with you. As your sister. Are you brainless or something? You and I have no sisterly bond anymore. That ceased to exist when you kicked me out of the house eight years ago. Now, if you'll pardon me, I have to return to my life, wedded with offspring and the CEO of a very prosperous company. Wait, what? You're wedded and you have offspring? Are you joking with me? When did this occur? I really had no clue about any of this. Hello? Are you perusing these messages anymore? Respond to me. Libby! After that, I learned that Clinton had made the decision to cancel the wedding completely. It goes without saying that Dakota was utterly devastated when she found out that Clinton had confided in me all of this later on at the office. I comforted him that it wasn't his fault and he comforted me that it wasn't mine either. In fact, apparently he was already having doubts about the marriage as he discovered the kind of person that my sister was and I told him that he was most likely avoiding a disaster by doing this. And now that that's all done, I can finally resume ignoring my terrible family and getting back to my wonderful life without them. As for what Dakota did after the wedding, I really have no idea. I really hadn't kept in touch with her or my family for the entire time since she evicted me from their house, and my parents never did anything to prevent her from doing so. Although many years later, I heard through the rumor mill a little bit of what had transpired to her. Apparently, after her wedding to Clinton was called off, she sank into a pretty severe depression. She was so convinced that nothing she could ever do could be wrong. And on that day, she realized just how wrong she really was. Then the situation got so bad that she even stopped attending work. I heard that not long after that. She was terminated and relocated to a minuscule apartment all by herself. As to what she's been doing with her life since then, well, I can really truthfully say that I have no clue. And if I can do anything about it, I plan to keep it that way.